Good evening, friends. It's Alexor again. Here we are with Last Epoch, right? And just a little bit of a review, so to speak, um, the state of the game at this point. Actually, I first want to show you the proof, right? There we are. 396 hours played on this game, so I don't know if anyone's going to call me out. You don't have 400 hours in this game. I put almost 400 hours into this game, and there's a bunch of things I wanted to mention. The truth of Last Epoch, and it is right now. The next season is coming in about four weeks, so this is 1.0 as the game was released. And the first thing I have to mention is that the game is not finished. And I think the devs are very much aware of it. The game as it is right now is not a true full release in my eyes. Even though it was 1.0 and they put a lot of great things into the game. Um, if you look at the roadmap they published, you can clearly see that the things they are coming, like for example, transmog system, um, update to the skill system, even more campaign chapters to finally flash it out. Dodge roll mechanics, like the pinnacle boss isn't even in the game yet, right? So the game is not finished yet. It's not the full release game yet, okay? This will most likely be when we hit 1.4, which would be the, the th third cycle, exactly. So after season three, if you want, or cycle three, or when this launches, then I think the game is sort of, the core game is flashed out at that point. Until now, there are still a bunch of things that are lacking and missing. Um, so make no mistake, the game is not in the full release yet. But it's already very, very, very good. I want to give this right away. It's a superb game. They did a great job. And it's doing a lot of things better than your, your classic, you know what, names <laughs> in gaming. So, one key thing I wanted to mention here is the game even though people hate when i say this it is balanced around casual players because people get totally mad when you tell them that the game is not designed to be played at more than 300 corruption but this is exactly what the devs said themselves all the time 300 corruption is sort of where they balance the game around and you can of course go to like 500 but anything higher than that all the balancing goes out the window, They all the, the builds don't really make sense anymore in how they operate. So any build that can go higher is currently bugged or not working as intended. But the key thing is, I like that the game is balanced around the casual player and that there isn't a huge incentive to grind 300 hours just at the highest echelon of the end game. Because there is only a small percentage of people who actually do this. Like right now the the um, the game account for the game is very very low because the season like the first season is has been over for quite a while if you look at google trends actually this is the google trend for last epoch right very simple what happened this was launch of 1.0 in february 21 i think it was went up to i remember it was 250,000 concurrent players at the time i think and then it slowly went back up again now if you look at other games like for example path of exile and we also throw in diablo 4 which is of course way higher we know that way more people actually play this game anything else we want no i think it's fine you see okay diablo was very high here um but there's always some sort of up and down you see there's always an up and down in things now it's going to get up again i guess that's because the expansion is planned so if you throw out diablo for a second you will also see with Path of Exile, there's always some sort of up and then it's down again, then there's an uptick, then it's down again, and it's not even as high as this. Now, of course, this is the past 12 months, Path of Exile is 10 years old. But you get the idea that ARPGs are seasonal, and the casual player is always jumping from one game to the other. There's only a very few people who always grind the same game to the highest echelon. And balancing around just a few people that is a very bad business model. So I like the fact that they didn't do this with Last Epoch and they keep focusing on the casual player mostly. Now it's not as easy as Diablo 4, there is much more depth to it. So you can actually you can actually paint the matrix, I'm gonna put this on screen here, with time invested into the game and degeneracy. And Path of Exile, of course, is sort of very high at the time investment and degeneracy. This is sort of where 
Perfect, so it's focused on. It's not really for casual players anymore because it's virtually impossible to get into the game. Diablo 4 doesn't have much depth, so it's really just for time investment very low and for the casual player. And Last Epoch is sort of in the middle of that. It's still easy, but it has some depth to it if you actually put in the time. And this is what I've been doing, for example. Um, I know the season has been over for quite a while. People are not watching the game or even playing it. So I've just been doing build guides. I've been respecking all the builds. Because, you know, every single of these, every single one of these skills, right? Every single one of these skills in the game has its own passive tree. That's about 118 passive trees for this game. Every single one for each class has its own passive tree. So there's a lot you can figure out in the game. You can lo a lot you can do. But it's made very easily. Okay, it's very easy to get into these things because these are not huge, right? You can figure out a static or passive tree quite fast if you put a bunch of hours into it. Then you can go to the next skill, right? Very simple. But it has depth to it and you can do a lot if you do so dare to do. So I think much like Diablo 4, if you're like me, you're a dad. And it doesn't really count to me, but like the regular dad gamer, it doesn't have much time to play games. And this is where Diablo 4 and um, Last Epoch come in and work very well because you just put in a bunch of hours per week, play the game, have fun with it, and you don't have to... I don't know, study the game entirely for, for years to even understand it. Like Asmogold recently said, he has 3,000 hours in Path of Exile and he, he considers himself to only understand about 20% of the game. I mean, if you're a person that works and has a family, which I think is actually many people that play ARPGs from what I've been told, um, then you don't have the time for that. It's very, very simple. Uh, another cool thing is unlike Diablo 4, it actually has a pinnacle boss. <laughs> so, as uh, the, the dev recently said, what would Diablo be without Diablo in it, right? So that's D4 for you. Um, now, it doesn't have the pinnacle boss yet, but it's coming in four weeks. So I guess that sort of counts. Um, but I just wanted to add this as a nice, nice addition. There's another thing. I, I know I'm sort of banking around the casual player thing, but... There are statistics for Last Epoch that most casual players, or like most players actually, they didn't even finish the first monolith boss. So let's actually look at this. These are the monoliths, right? Over here, actually. This is the end game, right? The end of time. This is the end game of Last Epoch. And you have to play through all of these monoliths first to even get to empowered timelines where you get the good item drops. And the dev said, most casual players, and people have a completely wrong understanding of what that is, they don't even finish the boss for the first monolith. That's actually kind of crazy to me. Because this is where you actually first start your build. This is where it actually starts to come alive. So it's kind of interesting that most people don't even get there. So I think this is just for you to wake up and for me to wake up. What the casual player actually does, he just plays through the campaign, Maybe he tries another class, maybe plays a little bit of the monoliths, and then he's done. And admittedly, I can, I can understand why this gets boring fast, because you just keep playing these echoes, right? Uh, wait, I don't want to travel there. And you keep playing these, right? Um, these small, quick things, and this just gets boring fast. I can totally understand this. So, them adding more endgame content to the game will definitely help with that. So I think all the endgame content that is coming because there's a lot of endgame co content coming, will mostly be watched on streams, actually. People will not even play it. So it's just people like me or any other streamer that streams the game, and people are going to watch him actually fight the pinnacle boss. I don't think many people are going to do this. A bunch, of course. Sure. Um, but from what I've heard, what the casual player does and is, they don't really seem to care about that that much. It's kind of crazy to me. But this also shows the state of the game that the endgame needs more stuff to make it more enjoyable and they are working on it and they also said especially because you have to go through the unimpaled monoliths first once entirely to even get to impaled ones which is very annoying if you have a good build especially or leveling your other characters and they are working on rectifying this 
So you can get faster to Empowered Monoliths, which is great. But this all just brings it around that they should focus more on making their campaign good and uh, the way to get to the monoliths and the first sort of the first monolith interaction because this is where most pay players play. And you have to understand this way: the casual gamers who buy the game, they are the ones who keep the game alive with the um, player numbers because they are the majority of gamers. Now, of course, there are degenerates like me and you who. <clears throat> throw money at the game like crazy so they actually can survive with it but you need both you need the people actually playing it you need big numbers otherwise the game just dies out and you need people spending money on it so you have to find the balance between between this and 4000 corruption is just stupid it's dumb there is no point in going there ever other than for bragging rights or because you need i don't know ep things and your competitive spirit fine but it's pointless it's absolutely pointless you don't even get better items Okay, they just the increase in the item drops is so minimal. It's really not necessary to even go there at all. Now for some greater things. What I like a lot about Last Epoch is the replayability. As I mentioned already, you can respec all of these, right? I can just drop this skill and pick another one and look into how I would do this. Um, pick the volcanic orb and look how I play this. So this is what I've been doing. All the time now as i said earlier i've been just making build guides if you look at my youtube for example right it's all just build guides you need this inferno lock the poison warlock the fireball sorcerer torture queen then with the adhd rogue bud and bob melee necromancer i was just doing build guides i was just changing all these things up all the time this is what i've been doing and it was a lot of fun just exploring the skill trees looking at what you can do with your builds. So the replayability of the game is great with that respecking mechanism in the higher higher ranks. And you can do this easily also at um, if you level one of your characters to like 80 plus. You can respect them so fast, no problem. That's just really, really great. Now there are a bunch of things they still have to work on, as I said, to, to sort of smooth out the curve. Also they said, once you get to level 80, this whole mechanism of skilling your skill tree sort of just vanishes because once they reach 20 that's it and then you sort of sort of lax what, what do you do with it right respecting of course but just playing through it you don't touch these ever again later right so they said they're gonna improve this in a way something will be coming so these are actually more replayable the longer you go or whatever it is with this i don't know what they're gonna do with it but Definitely something. Um, yet there are still some things necessary they have to change. And I keep talking about, for example, the set items. We don't even have them here. Um, the set items, these ones, right? The green ones. They are still ass. Absolute ass. So they're going to be changed. They want to add idle crafting. The transmog system is coming. People are still asking for other genders for the characters because you can't choose them right now. Unlike the male and female. So that's a bunch of things the game still needs to work on. So I think after 400, 400, 400 hours of Last Epoch, here is my verdict, okay? There it is. It's a fantastic game. You can already play it. I cannot judge if it's better than D4 because I haven't played it, right? I think it's better for the casual player than Path of Exile because you can get into it faster and easier. It still has depth to it. So it, I think it perfectly strikes the balance between being too easy and running out of content fast and being too deep so you can't get into it properly unless you spend years into it. It perfectly strikes that balance, also price-wise. It's great that you don't have to pay for expansions. Everything will be free always. It's only monetized with cosmetics. That's a big plus. And the devs are listening. They play the game themselves. They know what they're talking about. They're listening to the community. They even run polls what they should do. So this is great. Everything's great, really. But again, the game is not in its core finished state yet, in my opinion. So if you want to have the full experience, that's going to come with 1.4 in my eyes, when you also have the transmog system and the skill updates. Um, until then, there will be a lot of great changes. And especially with 1.1 now, we also get the pinnacle boss and another great thing. Also a lot of skill reworks. So there's going to be a lot of build guides from me again, I guess, because everything's going to be changed. But make no mistake, 
it is not finished. Then again, what ARPG is actually finished at launch these days, right? D4 is only now getting good, I've been told, in Season 4. So maybe that's just the, the way these days with ARPGs. I don't know. Maybe that's just how they do it. Um, again, it's still a very rounded, very rounded game. Some masteries are currently pretty bad, but they will work on it. Generally, I mean, I stream this game all the time, so I guess I'm a bit biased. I like it a lot. It's a truly great game. You can have a lot of fun with it already, but make no mistake. You want to play all the content, you want to respec a little, you want to try some, some new builds, but then it's totally fine to go to another game. Then play the next season of Diablo, or play the next season of Path of Exile, or Path of Exile 2 is coming this year, right? So, which I will be streaming and playing for sure. So there's a lot. And I think it's also totally fine. It's not like you are an asshole for skipping Last Epoch just because you love it so much, and then once you played through it and did your things, you do something else. I think that's totally fine. So anyway, as I mentioned, the verdict is this game is fantastic. I do think it's one of the best ARPGs ever made and they set out to make a true successor to the to Diablo 2 and I think they cut that completely. They did it. Um, there are some things, of course, still, but generally this is one of the best games ever made if you are into ARPGs. That is my verdict. And again, understand who you are as a player. This is for casual players still. We know there's a lot of endgame in it, but the main focus is casual players and free and corruption, what the game is balanced around it. Most people don't even get there ever. So get your 4,000 corruption out of my face. It's pointless just for degenerates. Sorry, that's what it is. Um, absolute pointless to grind there. Except where the game is balanced around. Okay. Anyway, that was it for today. Let me know what you think of it. What your experience with Last Epoch was, how you think... Well, what do you think, Bird? What it's aimed for, what they need to change, things that are definitely have to change or be added or be removed even. What you like about it, what's your favorite thing about it? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.